It's a commercial success story. SpaceX copies and the first crew mission to space led by a private company returns to Earth. U.S. astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley are back home. Here we have our first view of yeah, Doug Hurley. After their two-month mission at the International Space Station, the astronauts were slowly helped out of the capsule as the company SpaceX plans more ambitious projects. We are starting the journey uh, of bringing people regularly to and from low Earth orbit uh, and onto the moon and then ultimately onto Mars. Things looking good, though. Now the success of a test flight could lead to a new booming industry. NASA is no longer the purchaser, owner, and operator of all the hardware. We are going to be a customer, one customer of many customers in a very robust commercial marketplace. To save money and redirect resources, in 2014, NASA turned to commercial companies like Boeing and SpaceX for space flight programs. And now, additional missions, research, and even tourism could follow. Now Elon Musk's SpaceX is going to be one service. Boeing is going to come online probably um, later this year. They're going to complete another uncrewed test flight so they can begin flying astronauts next year. Virgin Galactic is looking at flying astronauts, so this is just the beginning. It took more than 18 hours to get back home. The so-called Dragon capsule endured temperatures of more than 1900 degrees Celsius as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. There's something special about having that capability to launch and, and bring your own astronauts home. And uh, uh, we went through a lot of years without that capability. And I think we're both super, super proud to have been just a small part of the team that uh, accomplished bringing those space flights back to the Florida coast and bringing that capability back to America. It's that technology and a giant leap in the way space travel is financed and run that powered these astronauts into the history books, using the first U.S.-built hardware since the shuttle was retired nearly a decade ago. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.